Hi, I left San Diego on December 30th, 2017 for San Jose, Costa Rica through the IVHQ program. Upon arrival, I was taken to my host family, Victor and Yemeth Villalobos. They did not speak any English, so that made communication uh, pretty fun. I spent New Year's Eve and day with the ex their extended family. Uh, we played poker and watched fireworks. It was really amazing. And uh, then after that was done, on the third day, I traveled to Maximo Novell for orientation. I then departed to a slum built directly upon an old trash dump. There I painted a room that was built to teach children in. Uh, this was where I first began to see a distinct difference in living situations from America. From a global health perspective, I worried that it wasn't healthy to live in trash. Things in San Diego are extremely more sanitary. Uh, however, uh, the children seemed fine. So the next day, I went to an orphanage, which broke my heart, honestly. Uh, a couple of little girls asked me to take them home, and I had a hard time trying to tell them why I couldn't do that. Uh, we spent the day coloring, and this experience impacted me the most as it was there I first heard about Pura Vida, a way of living life to the fullest no matter the hardship. And I will forever try to keep this in mind as I move forward in my own life. Uh, the next day, uh, being the fifth day, I went to an old folks home and did a puzzle with an old man. Uh, he was a little senile, so I don't know, we just didn't really, we kind of played with pieces the whole time uh, but uh, this was very difficult for me as uh, it made me think of my dad who had just passed away so that obviously was a pretty emotional day um, again there I was reminded of Pura Vida uh, by the residents as um, you know they would constantly say it you know and it's kind of a thing that they do out in Costa Rica uh, everyone that is um, and then uh, I had the weekend off so uh, over that weekend I traveled to a beach and there, a uh, monkey actually stole one of my socks, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. Um, and uh, there I had a chance to re really reflect on my lessons to date, and I came away with something extremely valuable. I came to the conclusion that I would be, or that, you know, I, I should be more appreciative of the life I live and seek out opportunities to serve those less fortunate. Uh, then after the weekend was over, we came back, and that last week I spent at a rehab center uh, for young girls uh, where I uh, basically painted all of their rooms. I learned there that, uh, you know, we're really all the same everywhere. Uh, we all struggle, we all strive, and in the end, we would all be better if we could help one another. Again, the Pura Vida theme played out through the construction manager, and I couldn't help but wonder from a global health perspective if the world adopted such a way of living, if we all would lead more happy lives. And after that week was done, you know, it was really hard for me to leave my host family because uh, they were so nice to me. And even though I couldn't really speak to them all that much about anything really deep because um, my Spanish isn't all that great, um, you know, they, they were kind of sad to see me go to, I think, and they uh, made sure to extend an, an invitation for me to come back to their house whenever um, you know I, I could in the future and I think that I will um, go back and uh, so hopefully this is not the end of this story when I got back to the states you know there were some real very big distinctions that I noticed uh, or differences I should say that I noticed uh, right away coming back into this country um, and mostly it was like a, an attitude difference, I noticed. Um, coming from Costa Rica, where people really don't have much and are very open to um, being positive and whatnot, it was, it was very strange to be uh, back in the country for me, to be surrounded by people that had so much, but maybe in their heart they kind of always had this feeling that they wanted more. And um, I think that it's it from a global health perspective i think that that might cause sickness honestly sickness of the mind sickness of the the heart uh, which ultimately ends up you know manifesting in actual physical sickness and so i think that um you know i'm really gonna try to move forward um, really kind of keeping 
more of that mindset from Costa Rica in mind for myself as I move forward and uh, it's been a really good experience and um, I'm very happy that you know I had this opportunity.